Uh, today I'd like to speak about this amazing painting. Uh, it's a Jossel Bergner painting called Back to Santa Maria Blanca from the series of uh, Bert Ed Haggadah from 1984. And as I'm wondering and uh, telling all sorts of stories that I don't know where I'm going, I decide to start with some sort of uh, 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 two references, one of them for the synagogue and one of them of the uh, Bert Ed Haggadah. So we'll start with the synagogue. Actually, this one is a picture of this amazing I called it a synagogue, but today is a museum. But let's, uh, let's go to uh, uh, Wikipedia, the proper, the proper one, and we'll call about this thing called Synagogue of Santa Maria La Blanca. The Synagogue Santa Maria La Blanca, literally Synagogue of St. Mary the White, originally, originally known as the Ibn uh, Shushan, or Sassoon, the Ibn Susan Synagogue, or commonly, the Congregation Synagogue of Toledo. It is a museum and former synagogue in Toledo, Spain, erected in 1180 AD, of course, according to the uh, inscription on the beam, and blah, blah, blah. The, it's the oldest synagogue building in Europe still standing. Now it's uh, owned and preserved by the Catholic Church. And now let's go to the bird's head Haggadah, which is this uh, strange creatures that you can see. And obviously my uh, Judenhart is referring to this as well. Although they're, they're actually uh, the Judenharts of the angels are black because for Yossel, the composition, it was important to have it black. And actually uh, from the... Um, I've checked that uh, the, the proper Judenharts were yellow, as a symbol, of course, of hatred, and black as well. So there were some uh, in that part of the world, and but mainly in Germany that the Haggadah was painted, and uh, uh, in the Arab countries. So Bird's Head Haggadah was done in uh, 1300 AD, it's the oldest surviving illuminated Ashkenazi Passover Haggadah, the manuscript, the manuscript produced in the Upper Rhine region of the southern Germany in the early 1400, contained the full Hebrew text of the Haggadah, the ritual uh, of the... I had another amazing painting from this series, which was called, uh, and I'll actually call this... Uh, uh, it's called the, Guardian of, the Guardians of the City from the same series. You can see here the, uh, the two angels as we can see them here. Uh, or you can see them there, which is, uh, it was a very important painting that they had. Now, it's, but interesting, this, uh, the Guardians of the City, it's called, and the, uh, the place that it uh, represents, is the um, is a city that could be Jerusalem, but here this is a completely different place. It's um, it's in Toledo, and again this uh, uh, this specific place. I think it's very important to know that, especially for Yossel, it was important because it's uh, it used to be Jewish and then it became Christians. It's Christian. I think it was uh, became in the fourteen uh, hundreds. It was uh, Christian, and then fortunately the the bishop uh, decided to slaughter off the Jews of uh, Toledo. But uh, I just would like to uh, to mention that the, for me the important part in this specific one is what you also call back to Santa Maria Blanca. Okay, we'll come to this back a little bit later. So what we, we can see here, this is obviously the, uh, uh, the inside of this amazing uh, structure architecturally. This is very unique and uh, um, a lot of uh, works were, were done just uh, on this specific one. Uh, it's called Morris, the architecture and a combination. It's a really unique, uh, unique 
piece of architecture. But inside, most of them in the air are these strange creatures, angels, most of them, except this one that is half uh, standing, but we are not sure that it's standing in the sky or touching the earth. All of them are surrounding in this uh, atmosphere. Now, let's remember that it was a synagogue. And uh, because I'm not very good with the, uh, with the time, I just would like to, uh, to tell you that the Jewish community of uh, uh, coming back to the, to the beginning, back to Santa Maria La Blanca, uh, in 2013, it's called Request for Return to Judaism. This is, this is amazing that it was done in 2013. And just this painting was done in 1984. So, Yosel the Prophet, I don't know. In 2013, the Jewish community of Toledo asked the Roman Catholic uh, Archbishop of Toledo, the name, to transfer ownership and custodianship of the building to them. As of late 2016, the church has failed to respond. Now, I just would like to mention that uh, uh, the patron of this amazing church that you know, it's you cannot be in Toledo without visiting this this church. The Toledo of this church was uh, was Joseph. Joseph, uh, his name, the, his full name was Joseph Ben Meir, which uh, Maya, Joseph jo, 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 Ben Meir Sassoon, or Ben Sassoon, or Ben Shushan, something like that. Joseph. Joseph ben Maya ben Sassoon. And he was the son of the finance minister of King Alfonso of uh, Castilla. Okay. I just uh, will start sort of all this uh, thing about this specific place. I want to go uh, to a different time, a different place. Uh, in his eulogy after Yossel's death in January 2017, uh, the great Israeli art historian and art critic Gidon Ofrat uh, called Yossel the last Jewish painter. And although I don't agree with him with the word last, because uh, there's still uh, quite a lot of Jewish artists all over the world, obviously Jewish, that they, they paint Judaism. But this specific painting is so much a Jewish painting. And uh, Yossel himself, uh, in one of the uh, interviews, called himself, he said to, him, uh, to, the, uh, to Dan Ben Amotz that interviewed him at that time, he said, I'm a Jew by profession. I'm a Jew by profession, not a Zionist. To conclude, I would like to quote of my old, my late friend and Yossel's best friend, uh, Nisim Aloni, in the introduction to Yossel to the catalog of this uh, series of paintings called the, uh, uh, the Bird's Head Haggadah. Uh, the beak now is no longer accusing, it is only a witness to a terrible human deeds of days gone by and of our time. Uh, Yossel was given uh, the Haggadah in, um, in I think, it, in 1983 or something like that, and he followed up. He got a, a facsimile, uh, I think the one that was done by, uh, in, uh, by the publisher was uh, uh, Mr. Spitzer, that was Yossel's one of his best friends. And the Yossel fell in love with this uh, straight away. And he painted the painter, and actually, in one of the interviews regarding these amazing paintings, he said that, uh, uh, that he's going to paint this painting forever because he could explore more and more things. But, uh, you know, after a few things, he's his mind was so 
so uh, so rapid evolved, so he went to other other topics. But the painting that he did from this series are really extraordinary. You can see, let's say, in this particular one, you can see the uh, uh, you can you can feel Rembrandt that he he learned Rembrandt's color, how the white is jumping from the blackness. But he even did some experiment that just the uh, the black the black hats. The human hearts are really black. All the rest of them are, um, are brownish, but still the light is coming, and which is amazing that even the white or whitish frame cannot take the, the strength of these, uh, these amazing architectures uh, wonder. And uh, let's talk about the brass strokes, about this, uh, uh, this painting that I think it's an amazing painting. Uh, in 19, uh, 1984, Yossel was uh, 64 years old, and he was in the height of his career. So uh, you can, uh, you can uh, argue that towards the end of his life, uh, his paintings were a little bit, uh, as they say, it's shaking. But here, Yossel could do anything he wants. But he chose to paint this painting with just few details here and there, and the rest to leave it as very, very, how shall I call it, uh, very almost abstract, towards abstraction. And you can see all this beautiful, um, uh, beautiful paint with, the, uh, with a lot of terps that just made the canvas so-called dirty. And then the white, white pillars are like, like teeth. Uh, inside the gums, if you want, and they are just, uh, and here there are all these uh, angels in the air. Look at this amazing angel, how with few strokes you can see all the figure. Look at this, you can see even the belly. You can see that, you know, he's not a, he's not a, a thin one. He's a, yeah. and with this smear, you can see he's, uh, uh, he's how do you call it, this, this part, the, the tie, the, um, that he had the socks, the white socks, just two lines. And here, the way that it's done, I don't know if the camera can see, the head, it's so free with the hands. The hands are so, uh, you know, the fingers, it's just one stroke, but you can see the, the curve. It's, I, I think it's an amazing painting. You can see it's a, pa it's a painter that can do anything and choose to do Look at this, look at this pile, pile of uh, strokes and you can see the images of these things which are, for me they are really amazing. It's, uh, the strokes are so confident, confident, that's the, that's the name of, uh, you know, from far away you can see how shining, please take it when you finish this, take it uh, out and see the whole thing how it jumps from uh, this blurb of colors, how it goes to this amazing painting. Yeah, I really think it's, uh, Yossel is uh, exceeded. Look, with such few strokes, you can see the columns with all the architecture parts. You can see that uh, these uh, columns are not round, but they have, I think they are octagonals and they are, uh, I think there are 24 in this spe specific uh, uh, in this specific uh, room. It's a big room, but um, but uh, you know, what, if you see the painting straight away, you can you can see that this is Santa Maria la Bianca. Yeah, I I think it's an amazing painting. Yeah.